As the clock struck 10 a.m. Wednesday, some 200 Olympia High School students streamed out of classrooms. They joined students nationwide in a walkout sponsored by the Women's March Youth Empower Movement. The students walked out of class for 17 minutes, each minute representing the memory of 17 victims shot and killed at the Parkland school shooting in South Florida on Valentine's Day. Joaquin Oliver, 17. Alina Petty, 14. Melo Pollack, 14. Helena Ramsey, 17. I'm just tired of having to live in fear of might my school be next? Might I come to school tomorrow and never go home? Might some of my friends never go home? Sarah Gindy, a senior and an event organizer who spoke at the walkout, says she's concerned that students don't feel safe in school anymore. And I don't think that's acceptable. I think that school should be a safe place for everyone. And um, so I think Parkland really sparked a lot of outrage because a lot of us saw ourselves in those victims. And so we unified and rallied together. And like I said back there, there are so many different people, some of whom I know, some of whom I don't, everybody coming from these different backgrounds to come together and just signify that we're fed up. Senior Emmy Grant shared her view of the new youth movement opposing assault weapons. I know a lot of the rhetoric surrounding um, this movement is saying, oh, kids don't care, kids um, don't really have any place in the political field. But I think today we saw it wasn't just the kids who are normally um, out there really active, it was everybody. I think it kind of showed that like, this is a movement about all of us and it affects all of us. Um, and I think that was a really important thing to show not only our community, but also the people who represent us. Olympia High School security required the media and family to watch the student walk out from the sidewalk on North Street Southeast. So the students were supported by parents and family from a distance. Candace Hyatt, who traveled from Raymond to support the students protesting at the school, talked about the event. Our schools are not safe. Students are finally realizing that. I think we've been seeing all kinds of horrible things going on in schools. People coming in with guns and, and the kids aren't protected. Um, they're sitting ducks. They, you know, I think it's, it must be very fearful at this time to go to school. Virginia Hadley, who has a son who graduated from Olympia High, also talked about why she was there. The next generation is, is realizing that the world is something that they need to be in charge of. Their citizenship and their participation are important. And if something matters to you for your life, you need to stand up and say so. Kevin Hunan, a retired technology teacher who taught in Olympia School District for 37 years, the last seven of which were at Olympia High, explained why he attended the event. I'm here to support all the students and staff in their walkout. I highly believe in it. Um, this is a great time for all the students and staff to uh, support no guns in school. Lee O'Hara, a sophomore, shared some of the speech she presented at the walkout, talking about the importance of students rallying together. America was looking for leaders. Leaders willing to represent the thousands of lives lost. Leaders willing to look the NRI in the eyes and smile fearlessly while simultaneously eradicating NRI's power bit by bit. These leaders materialized one month ago to the day, and these leaders called themselves Parkland School Shooting Survivors. By walking out today, you support these leaders. By walking out today, you have become one of these leaders. Students, this has become our revolution, a revolution built on a refusal to say no, a revolution on, built on making our opinions matter, a revolution built on politely asking a fellow revolutionary to drive you to the Capitol building because maybe you haven't gotten your license yet. O'Hara shared her speech after the event, joining fellow students to participate in a Will We Be Next rally at the state capitol steps. The capitol rally's organizer, Gracie Anderson, a student at Pacific Lutheran University, shared why she got involved with the youth movement. In the wake of the Parkland, Florida shooting, I noticed that I was a little bit desensitized to what was happening, which is such a huge red flag for me. Both my parents work in schools. I have a younger sister who's a freshman in high school. So the fact that I wasn't alarmed by it or as angry or sad as I usually am was a major concern for me. So I looked into it, looked at their photos, read their stories, and instead of being sad like I normally Liam, I just became really upset and really angry and frustrated with the lack of action by our government. In Olympia, I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News.